ID and destination? San Francisco? Going to see my boys. Oh, I haven't flown for a while. Excuse me? I haven't flown for a while. I used to fly all the time. I once worked for the airlines, too. Did you? <clears throat> yes, but unfortunately, the company I work for went under. Otherwise, I'd be flying for free. I'm sorry. I, I hate to hear that. Oh, it's not your fault, Denise. <laughs> but given my situation, and I hate to ask, but do you think there's anything you could do to make this flight a little more comfortable? Well, let me see. There might be something in first class. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. Being cooped up in the main cabin is borderline tolerable. Shoot. I'm sorry. It's a full flight. Pardon me? It's a full flight. There's nothing I can do. My husband and I would also like to welcome Maureen's parents, Eddie and Nancy Johnson, into our family. Would everyone please stand? And let's raise a glass to toast the future of Joanne and Mark. You got engaged? I'm leaving. I'm gone. Maybe now you two can get back together. Did you think I was a fool? You didn't say anything. Oh, would you confess? To me, Father Ramus, Quinn. I tried to. Hide it. That's what you tried. All right. So don't act like you're sorry. You knew it. And you didn't even care that she was dead. Why should I? What is she to me? What? A reminder of my husband's infidelity. A broken promise staring at me. Don't you think I suffered enough? What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it was easy? Just having her around town, watching that little girl grow up made me sick! <sighs> I'm sorry, sir, but we can't cash in What's the matter with my check? You guys are all fuckers. Fuckers! Fuckers, fuckers! Fuckers! Hey, old fella. Now don't take the stagecoach home now. Come you on. You can't Let's kick go. me out of here. Stop take it please. easy, Pop. Fuck you. We got an angry fish. The horse book. Code 11. I'm going to need backup. Hey, liquor. It's a unique name for a girl. Yeah, never really been a big fan. Thanks. Mr. Keene's condition began to worsen. I'm looking for my father. We got a lot of fathers here. Hall, Henry Hall. I'll let him know you're here. Henry. You okay? Oh, I'm... <laughs> You're a doggy boogie to spy, not make friends. Yes, Auntie. There's no room for surprise moves from Peter. 
If you blow this, Roman, I'll put you on a leash so short. I saw the way you looked at that, that riffraff niece of his. What? I have to be nice. <laughs>